Now, simply for the sake of continuity, we're going to be doing the military base before we do level 4. Just because continuity. Doing level 4 now would just spoil what I ended off this level with. And I can't have that happen. Though it, I suppose, would be a late explanation on why was his health so low, or why did his ammo look like this, or what happened in this level. So to prevent that, we're just going to show it now. Because this is the sequence in which you would play the game. It's not like you can go from level 8 to level 9. You just can't do that. You go from 3 to 9, from 9 to 4, and 4 all the way up to 8, which is the last level of the episode. Then, when you start episode 2, you start at level 10. That's just how it works. That's how this game works. So, this is the military base. It is the secret level for episode 1. It is... Its difficulty, I would say, is a degree higher than what you would expect in this episode. Then again, episode 1's not really that difficult, except for the last level of it, which is fitting, considering what you have to do. This is, I would say, a degree above that. No new enemies, but there's a lot of them in spots. Or they just couple it with hazards that end up screwing you over somehow. Which, that is something that happens later in this video. But you have to wait and see that. So as you can see, we picked up the lemon key. Because it's... it's yellow. It has to be a lemon flavored key. And then we triggered a pentagram teleporter and killed everything that came out of that. So we don't have to worry about that section now. And now we gotta find a yellow door. I believe it's here? Yeah, right there. I can't see it too well with the window I've got. Because I have to do everything post-commentary, because that's how good my uh, setup is. And as such, I had to do another jump cut, because why the hell not? And so we've picked up the cherry-flavored key, and we opened up a secret door and then killed everything inside of it. Got us some health. through the other yellow door, kill the things that are over here, in the area that I technically didn't have to go to. But I think I do end up grabbing a secret or two while I'm here. Because as you can see, there's an elevator off to my left, which eventually I will use once I kill the specter that I can barely see here. And after I go down here and grab a chain gun, of course. It took a while before I actually knew of that. I think it was the uh, 20th year anniversary video that Romero did with IGN. And I was like, oh, that's under there. Really, I had no idea. And this shows off the auto-aim and the fact that even though you can't really see the imps, you can still shoot them perfectly okay. As long as you're lined up with them. That's how the auto- how, that's how the auto-aim for this game works. As long as they're in direct line of sight, like, as long as they're I guess X coordinate, or Z coordinate, depending on which way you're facing, is lined up with your X slash Z coordinate, you can shoot them. The Y coordinate does not matter. And that is a feature that will come to bite you in the ass at some point when you play this game. When you get involved with ledges and multiple enemies. What I mean by that is the fact that if you're standing on a really high ledge and there happens to be an enemy standing right at the edge of that whatever you're standing on you cannot walk out off the ledge over where they are standing they serve as a entity with an infinite y value meaning they're a very large tower, so to speak, and they take up all the vertical space above them for whatever reason. And because of the auto-aim being the way it is in this game, you could be standing at the top of the ledge, they could be standing at the bottom of the ledge. If you stand on the edge of that ledge, they can bite at the wall and hit you. So say I was standing at the edge of this pit here that's full of green happiness. 
if a demon or something of that nature were to be standing in that pit trying to hit me and I were to stand at the edge of the pit, it could walk over to the edge where I'm standing, bite at it, and hit me. And then do damage to me. I mean, I, I can't really... That's really the only bad thing I can say about this, because the game was made in 93. And it pretty much revolutionized the first-person shooter and made it basically what it is today. I mean, if you think about it, if we didn't have this game, we probably wouldn't have Call of Duty. Even though th that is a positive. Uh, maybe, maybe The Last of Us wouldn't exist. Maybe I can have some hope in that. And now I'm basically getting trolled by this imp that's standing up there. That I want to back up to be able to shoot, but can't see. And be on the elevator at the same time, so he got a couple of cheap hits in. And there I was just trying to get away from the specter. So it couldn't bite me and do more damage. Because they can do good damage. And as such, I ended off the level 76 health. Which is fine, because I'm pretty sure there's a health box like right at the spawn point in the next level. So, I'm fine. But that's that stage down. 